Welcome everyone to our event today with China Admissions and Silk Business School. So a quick overview of how the event is going to work. I'm going to give a quick introduction to Silk Business School um, and then uh, the teacher from Silk Business School, Chloe Ding, she will do her presentation. Um, and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the question box down below. Um, and we will either write out the answers there or present the questions after Ms. Chloe has finished her event, uh, her presentation um, for her to answer. Okay, so that is how it's going to go. So let's get started. So greetings, everyone. Um, I am Saskia from China Admissions, and it is my pleasure to present to you an extraordinary, extraordinary educational institution that has been transforming the lives of aspiring individuals. Today, I'm thrilled to introduce you to Silk Business School, a prestigious establishment dedicated to shaping the business leaders of tomorrow. Silk Business School boasts an exceptional faculty composed of distinguished scholars, industry experts, and seasoned professionals. These mentors bring a wealth of experience and expertise to the classroom, inspiring and guiding students on their educational journey. Their mentorship extends beyond academics, nurturing students' leadership potential, fostering a global mindset, and instilling a strong sense of ethics and social responsibility. Silk Business School is committed to upholding rigorous quality standards, ensuring that its programs aligned with the international best practices. Accreditation and affiliation serve as testaments to the school's commitment to excellence, further enhancing the value of a SILK degree and opening doors to diverse career opportunities worldwide. SILK Business School offers an exceptional educational experience that goes beyond the traditional classroom setting. By fostering a collaborative learning environment, providing access to esteemed faculty, facilitating industry connections, and maintaining commitment to excellence, SILK empowers students to realize their full potential and become influential le leaders in the world of business. So thank you for your attention, and I invite you to embark on an incredible educational journey at SILK Business School, where your dreams and aspirations can flourish. So I present you today with the teacher, Ms. Chloe Ding, um, and she will give her presentation on SILK Business School. Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Chloe from Silk Business School, Shanghai University. Uh, it's really a pleasure to meet you today online. And uh, now let's uh, share the screen first. Uh, okay, I'm the admission officer of our school, and uh, I mainly focus on the international degree students recruitment and uh, admission. Uh, this year, we have quite a few applicants and uh, uh, we are happy to uh, welcome more students joining us since there are still a few days left for the application. Uh, so I'd like to uh, talk about our school and our degree programs today. Uh, first, we are located in Shanghai, one of the most uh, vibrant and dynamic cities in the world. Uh, with a population of over 24 million, Shanghai is frequently cited as the world's largest proper city, and it's also the finance and business center of China. Besides, Shanghai uh, is an incredible place to live. So I share some pictures here. You can see uh, we, are, we have many fascinating uh, sightseeing and uh, we have a rich culture. Uh, if you come to Shanghai, we will, sure, we will be sure that it will uh, keep you entertained through all your studies here. And Shanghai University uh, is named after the city Shanghai. It's a public university established in 1922. Uh, last year, it was our 100 year anniversary. And um, it's jointly governed by the Ministry of Education and the Shanghai Municipal Government. Uh, the QS ranking for 2023 in mainland China is 22nd, and we have more than 3,000 full-time faculty members and more than 40,000 uh, students, including nearly 3,000 international students. And uh, Shanghai University is a comprehensive university. It has uh, more than 80 undergraduate programs more than 100 master's pro programs and 82 doctor programs. Uh, actually, among the 84 undergraduate programs, uh, there are only three can be taught in English, and all the three programs are in our school. Uh, that's why our school you know, tends to pr promote separately, because uh, the university admission office, they focus on the uh, Chinese taught um, undergraduate programs, and we focus on our English taught undergraduate programs. 
As for our school, Silk Business School, Shanghai University, uh, it, it was established in 1994. And uh, it's actually a joint invention between Shanghai University and the University of Technology Sydney, UTS. Um, actually, uh, yesterday, the QS ranking 2024 just uh, released and the UTS uh, is now ranked uh, 90 in the, in the world in the QS ranking. Uh, so our undergraduate students, if you join us, you will have chance to receive two bachelor degrees upon graduation. First, you will have a bachelor degree from Shanghai University, a very famous university in China. And um, uh, if you join the double degree program, then just uh, stay in, uh, in Shanghai, in Silk, you can have chance to get another UTS bachelor degree upon graduation. And if you are a self-paid student, you don't even to pay any uh, extra tuition fee at all, just the one tuition fee to Shanghai University, then you can have chance to get two bachelor degrees, uh, one from a traditional uh, Chinese university, one from a Western university. For our Silk Business School, uh, I will quickly go through the history. So basically, uh, we first we have undergraduate programs, and then we have the postgraduate. And in 2020, we finally got the AACSB accreditation. As a business school, it's the most famous accreditation. Uh, only top 5% of business schools in the world can have this accreditation. Uh, here are some facts and figures of our school. Uh, you can see we have more than two, 200 faculty members and uh, uh, most of them uh, have the PhD uh, diploma from overseas universities. And uh, we have 17 professional staff. Uh, for our students, currently we have nearly 4,000 uh, full-time degree students uh, studying with us. And among uh, the 4,000 students, over 200 uh, international degree students. And currently, we have more than 20,000 alumni, and they uh, either join the uh, pursue their higher 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 education uh, in very famous universities, and also some of them they work in very uh, good companies in China and in other countries. Uh, we have more than 100 partner universities in 26 countries, so you will have the chance to uh, do some exchange program or summer school program with our partner universities. So every year uh, we will send our students to different partner universities for the uh, different programs like exchange, summer school and even uh, overseas internship. Likewise, we welcome many international students to join us every year. Uh, they are here mainly for degree programs and exchange programs. We also have our school's summer school and uh, short-term uh, tailored program or credit program. Uh, this year, we think for the degree programs, we uh, expect uh, about 50 new uh, students joining us. And for the whole Shanghai University, uh, there will be much more since there are about 30 schools in Shanghai University and we are only one school uh, of the 30 schools. Uh, as for our programs, uh, like I mentioned just now, we have three English taught programs. They are international economics and trade, finance, and the business administration. And for business administration, there are two study directions here. One is digital marketing, and the other one is innovation and entrepreneurship. So students can choose uh, either of these programs, and they can have uh, opportunity to get two degrees from uh, Shanghai University and the UTS. As for the postgraduate programs, now we only have master's studies. Uh, there are two English top programs, finance and accounting, and uh, the other four is all Chinese top programs. Mm, moving on to the admission requirements, uh, the three basic eligibility is that you need to be above 18 years old. If you are less than 18, then you need to get a, like a relative or friend here in China, they need to, uh, you know, write some statement for you. And the second one, uh, non-Chinese citizen, and that's the one in good health. So for the admission requirements, uh, we have English programs, then the English proficiency should be about uh, out of 6.5, TOEFL 90, or Dolingo 120. Okay, or if your previous study is in English, then you don't need to uh, submit any English certificate anymore.
For the Chinese program, we require HSK 5, 180. Um, as for your academic requirements, if you apply for the uh, undergraduate study, you need to have GPA 3 out of 4. Uh, of course, different countries, you have different uh, education system. Uh, in some countries, you may use 100 uh, in total, or some students, they study A-level or IB diploma. That's all acceptable. Uh, just the equivalent to three out of four is okay. If you apply for master's program, uh, you need to have GPA 2.5 out of four. Uh, besides, a qualified mathematics record is, is needed. Uh, this one, actually, some students may have questions. Um, by qualified, it just means that if you can pass all the uh, high school, uh, like previous study uh, mathematics exam, if you can pass all of them, it should be no problem. So uh, these are all the admission requirements. And of course, there are certain documents you need to prepare to apply for us. Uh, Shanghai University only accept online application. We don't need any of your original documents. You just uh, uh, upload the scan copy. Uh, first, uh, there is uh, passport photo page and then passport size ID photo. And you need to shoot a, a brief introduction video. Okay, just uh, briefly introduce yourself. And uh, high, highest degree certificate, also the official academic transcripts. Uh, for transcripts, you need to cover all your uh, previous study. Uh, Sorry, uh, if you apply for undergraduate program, you need to cover all your high school. Uh, normally it's three years of high school and language proficiency certificate like IELTS, uh, TOEFL, Dolingo, uh, other uh, international recognized certificate is also acceptable. Uh, and you should write a simple uh, study plan or a proposal. And for these two uh, documents, you can actually download the template online just to fill in the uh, template and sign the signature. And if you apply for a master's program, you need to get two recommendation letters from your like teachers, professors. And uh, for undergraduate programs, uh, it's not necessary, but it will be helpful if you can have one. Uh, also, if you have any honors or words, it will be uh, helpful for your scholarship application. Mm, some fees, uh, first the, the tuition fee, Mm, all the three undergraduate programs, uh, we charge the same amount as Chinese students. So it's quite reasonable, I would say, compared to many uh, business schools, especially in Western countries, this tuition fee is quite uh, affordable. So 30,000 RMB per year, uh, which is about 4,500 US dollars per year. And besides we have scholarship, I will later ex explain that. Uh, for master's programs, uh, there are different uh, tuition fees. For the Master of Finance, it's 45,000 RMB, and accounting is 59,000 RMB. And the Chinese programs are uh, mainly uh, 29,000 RMB every year. Okay. For the uh, Master's program, mm, two English program, uh, or two years program, just the two years. Okay. Accommodation, we have our on-campus dormitory, Mm, there are mainly double room and four bedroom, very few single room available. Okay, and students can also choose to live off the campus. Uh, even though we are in Shanghai, but our campus is not in the downtown of Shanghai. So Shanghai University has three campuses and our uh, business school, Silk Business School located in Jiading district, uh, which is not downtown. It takes about uh, one hour or one half hour to the downtown. So the apartment nearby our campus is not very expensive, as well as the food and the daily expenses. Okay, you can eat uh, in the canteen and it will be uh, quite cheap compared to the restaurant outside the campus. Okay, mm, I put a uh, estimated monthly expenses here. So uh, every month, 500 to 800 US dollars should cover all your living expenses here. As for the scholarship, uh, this year, since the application deadline is just uh, in a few days uh, this Friday, so the government scholarship is not available anymore. Uh, for the CSC, the Chinese government scholarship uh, is mainly for the postgraduate study and it covers basically everything, the tuition fee, accommodation, insurance, and every month you will have stipend 
like a lines. Uh, but this one is quite difficult to get. You can uh, try to consult in the local Chinese embassy. There is CSC type A, you should be uh, you should apply through the local Chinese embassy. For the CSC type B, just uh, apply online. Okay, this one usually the deadline is early February. So if you are going to apply for uh, next year intake, 2024 intake, uh, you, you, you can prepare for this one. Uh, from this December, uh, the application should be open uh, until uh, next uh, uh, February, you can apply for this one. The Shanghai government scholarship, um, it's just the, uh, uh, there are also two types, type A and type B. Type A covers everything, tuition, accommodation, insurance, stipends, and type B only covers tuition and the insurance. Okay. For Shanghai government scholarship, uh, the deadline is May 15. So every year uh, we have uh, some students, they can get the uh, Shanghai government scholarship. And the third one is Shanghai University scholarship. Uh, this one is just for postgraduate study, not undergraduate students. Uh, so you don't have to apply for the Shanghai University Scholarship. Uh, they were just a selector from the students who apply for these two. Okay, so uh, if you apply for uh, one of these two uh, scholarships, and if you don't get it, then the university will consider to you know, give this scholarship to the government scholarship applicants. It covers tuition fee, and uh, also you can have preferential price for the on-campus dormitory. Mm, last the one is our school scholarship. Uh, it's Silk New International Student Scholarship. For our school scholarship, uh, it covers different ranges of tuition fee. Uh, like half year tuition fee, one year tuition fee, or half of four years, or even four years, uh, four years tuition fee waiver. So for our scholarship, you don't have to apply either. We will just uh, select from all the qualified applicants. So basically, as long as you apply for our school program, uh, then you have a chance to get our school scholarship. Okay. If you can get this scholarship, we will just uh, send you email notice. And even though in the beginning, you don't have any scholarship, and in the following academic years, as a current student, you can also have chance to get a current student scholarship. Seems like someone has questions. Maybe I can you know, first go through all the slides and then answer the questions. Mm, I put some pictures here. Uh, this is our on-campus dormitory. Uh, this building is just for international students. Uh, this is front desk and uh, double room. Double room, there is private bathroom inside. This is four bedroom. Four bedroom, uh, there is public uh, bathroom on every floor. Uh, public kitchen, public washing machine. So normally the new students, they will choose to live on campus dormitory. And maybe in their following years, if they prefer a uh, private room, like single room, uh, they can rent apartment with their friends or classmates just near the campus. Uh, this is some pictures of our campus and the facilities. Uh, even though our campus is not quite new, it's, it has a history of nearly 70 years. So from outside, it's not very new, but inside we're trying to renovate the buildings. Uh, so you can see the classroom is quite modern and uh, uh, this is a cafe just uh, down uh, our office. Every year there are many activities, uh, not just the, the university ones, we have our school ones. So our international students, you can either join the university uh, activities or our schools. This is like a, uh, every year we have a cultural festival. So uh, like this one. So students in Shanghai University, uh, they will have, um, you know, there are many nationalities, so they can set up a booth to promote their own country. Uh, and this is like a new year party and uh, some traditional Chinese activity, uh, Chinese festival celebration and uh, some uh, soccer game. So you will, uh, you will also have chance to join the national commercial um, competition. Uh, last year we have about seven uh, seven national competition and our international students they can form a team 
with Chinese students, or they can form uh, just an international uh, team that they can compete with other universities, international students together. Okay. Uh, then here are some of our uh, media so uh, media social. Uh, you can take a picture, and uh, if you have any question, you can write me email. So this is the email I will check every working day, and uh, this is the application website. So Shanghai University only only accept the online application. So uh, you can check all the programs, all the application guide. Uh, on this website. If you are interested in other disciplines or other you know, programs uh, like Chinese intensive, uh, intensive Chinese language program, you can also check on this uh, website. There are many other programs in Shanghai University. But today I only uh, represent our Silk Business School. So uh, if you have any questions regarding our school programs and uh, you can just uh, ask in the chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for your presentation. It was very in-depth, def definitely. Um, we do have a couple of questions, so I'll read them out to you and you can just answer them right now. And then also just for the um, for everyone watching, um, this is going to be, this is being recorded and we will be posted onto our YouTube channel. Um, so if you are afraid that you're going to miss something or um, if you need to watch it again later or you need to recommend it to someone, it is going to be on the China Admissions YouTube channel. So it's very easy to find um, in order to keep track of all the information. So one of the questions we have is, do you recommend living in the dormitory or do you recommend living off campus? Uh, well, in the uh, beginning, we will recommend you to live on the uh, campus dormitory because uh, for many new students, you just arrive in China, it's not easy to rent an apartment by yourself. So uh, in the beginning, we will recommend on campus. Yes, yes. And I can also imagine it's going to be a lot cheaper um, as a student as well to, to live on campus mm -hmm. than to mm -hmm. live um, the renting in, a, in Shanghai must be expensive. Mm, well, for single room, it's almost the same. For single room, it's 3,000 RMB every month yeah. uh, for the on-campus dormitory. And 3,000 should be okay to rent an apartment near the campus. Great. We have a very interesting question here from one of our students. They've asked how far is Shanghai University from the closest metro station? Is it easy to reach by metro station? Well, uh, our campus, Jiading campus, is not very close to the metro station. It's about nearly three kilometers. So students will need to take a bus. Okay. And uh, there are actually shuttle buses among our three campuses. So if students want to go to the downtown, usually they can just take the school shuttle bus to the downtown campus, and then they can easily go to uh, anywhere they like in the downtown. Great. And it's cheaper than the metro. Oh, okay, great, wonderful. Okay, and then um, we have a student asking that about the CSC scholarship, about the deadline for the CSC scholarship again? CSC scholarship. Well, uh, this year the deadline was in early February, but I'm not sure about the type A. Like I said, type A is, is for the students to apply through the embassy. Uh, I heard that some embassies, the deadline was uh, early April. So uh, early, rec early uh, like application will be recommended. Okay, and then also, um, what is the local culture like in Shanghai and how welcoming is the city to international students? Uh, well, I would say Shanghai is almost the, the most international city in China, actually, and also like Beijing, right? Um, there are many foreigners living in, in Shanghai right now. Uh, they are either working here or you know, studying here. You know, just for our one university, there are nearly 3,000 international students. Not mention that it's, it's due to the pandemic. Actually, before the pandemic, there is about uh, 4,000 international students in our one university. And there are many, many Chinese universities. So I will say mm, it's not that difficult to uh, adapt to the Chinese culture here, uh, especially in Shanghai. Many young people, we can speak English and also for students who are interested in Chinese, I like to uh, add that uh, all the international students will learn Chinese with, with us. 
will have the Chinese classes. And um, I think after one year, you will be able to uh, speak some uh, simple uh, Chinese, some Mandarin, and it will be uh, much helpful for your life here. Yes, that was my next question about whether Chinese was in the curriculum for the English mm -hmm. taught programs. I think a lot of students have that question usually. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, we do have Chinese classes. Actually, one of the uh, graduation requirements of Shanghai University is that all the international bachelor uh, students need to have uh, HSK level four mm, when you yeah. graduate. For master okay. students, you need to have HSK three. So in order to make sure our, our students can graduate, we uh, that's why we offer the free Chinese classes and uh, try to get all the students to uh, have HSK certificate. Yes, I think that's a very important point. I think a lot of um, uh, a lot of students are interested in learning Chinese, or they're afraid that. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to do so, but if it's built into the curriculum um, and they have to have an HSK level by the time they graduate, um, it really makes their degree also like very valuable since they also study Chinese. So it's definitely like a really good experience for international students to do a program, especially at such a prestigious university, but also to learn Chinese as well. So that's really great. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know the maximum age. Uh, actually, for our school degree programs, we we don't you know put the maximum age. And uh, this year we have a student who is forty five and he still joins us for undergraduate study. Uh, wow. But actually, for the uh, degree programs, uh, sorry, for the scholarship application, there is uh, age limit. Uh, let me have a look. So I think for the masters, it's all on the website actually uh, oh they put that in general requirements doctor study no older than 55 mm -hmm. or bachelor and the master there is no age limit okay. uh, and for government scholarship there should be i think there is like undergraduate study so maybe i can uh, answer other questions first while yes. i check online for the age so there's also a question about internships um, and at what point will these students have to do an internship in their degree if, if they're doing an undergraduate program um, and is there any assistance with getting internships? Mm, well, normally our students will do internship in their third year mm -hmm. uh, in the summer vacation. So if students cannot find internship by themselves, our office and also our career development office we will help students to find an internship. Uh, normally one month or at most two months should be okay. And of course, if you would like to do a longer internship, that's also fine. Okay, great, great. Any other questions? Um, at the moment, no. So just if anyone has any further questions, please be sure to write them in the question box down below. Um, it's a great way to get your questions answered very easily. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I found it, the age limit for scholarship. For the uh, bachelor program, uh, the applicants should be under the age of 25. For the master's program, under 35. And for the PhD, it's under 40. Yeah, that's okay. the government scholarship age limit. Okay, great, great. And at the moment, the government scholarship is not available anymore, but our school scholarship is still available. Uh, we will select the last, last batch of uh, Silk scholarship in early July. So if you apply uh, before this weekend, uh, you will still have chance to get our school scholarship. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so at the moment, it doesn't seem like there are any further questions. So, um, Thank you very much for your presentation. Um, it was very in-depth and I'm sure this is going to be a great tool for students who are interested in studying at Silk Business School. Um, oh wait, we have one here. Um, it's regarding grades and scholarships. Mm -hmm. So uh, I mean, in general, I guess with scholarships, you need to also have higher grades to yeah. be applying. Um, and also to be applying to any university, you should have slightly higher grades as well. Yes, that's right. Because many students, they will try to apply for government scholarships. So yes, 
it's very easy to get it. Yes. So in general, we recommend if you're applying to a program um, for in general, you should have more than 70 percent on average. And in general, if you have we recommend having having even higher than that um, to apply. Uh, and if you are if you have a slightly a lower grade and you would like to improve that you can always apply for a foundation program and do that first and then redo some of your subjects and make sure you have a higher grade and then apply again so just for those students who are interested um, but in general um, if you have a lower grade the chance of getting into the university are going to be difficult let alone the scholarship mm -hmm. right Great. Thank you very much for your event uh, and for your presentation. It was great having you on here. And we can't wait to post this onto our YouTube channel so that even more people can see it. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.